Welcome back, my chonker soldiers. Can I just start referring to you as my soldiers? Soldiers and generals? Does that sound good? It sounds good to me. Welcome back, my soldiers and generals, and any new viewer. And if you want to become a soldier and a general, subscribe, like down below. Especially click that bell icon. That that's really good. Then you can you know when I post. Because there's so many channels out there, you never know. Now, in my last video I made, I talked about the disgusting Zeistin class Star Destroyer. And someone left a comment mentioning they would like to see my redesign of the classic Star Destroyer. And I think this is a perfect opportunity for me to explain and talk about what I honestly believe the flaws of the Star Destroyer. As much as I love Star Wars and all of the ships in it, there are some pretty big flaws with the ISD 1 and 2, which I will get into in a bit. So, to keep this channel alive, I guess I have to keep making Space Engineers videos, which is fine, that's okay. Just, uh, you're running my creativity kind of thin, guys. Not you, my generals and soldiers, you guys are awesome. But, uh, any new viewer who... I I'm actually losing subscribers. I'm losing my soldiers. Oh god. Oh god. But we can stay strong, Chonk Army! So I am going to create this new version of the Star Destroyer in Space Engineer. However, I was originally going to download a Star Destroyer from the workshop and edit it. But they are large to the point where it would just be a huge project and a huge portion of my time that I have to devote to making this Star Destroyer. Which with work and everything, I don't really have the time to do that. So instead, I'm going to make my own Star Destroyer and then redesign it. Very simple Star Destroyer, and I'll probably even post it to the workshop. Probably no interior, maybe just a bridge or something. So when I make this ship, I want to keep it to the an accurate scale. Now, if you take the original size of the Super, oh sorry, of the Star Destroyer, it's 1,600 meters long. Now, if you divide that by 2.5, that's the size in meters of each block in Space Engineers. And you get 640 blocks out of 1600 meters. That's a big fucking ship for Space Engineers. There's no way in hell I'm building that. Not, not only is it long, but it would also be super fucking wide. It's a triangle. It comes out. Yeah, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna make this geometric shape that large in Space Engineers. However, this is a very large vessel, and because I haven't made an episode about a large vessel, I'm I'm willing to uh, make this a uh, battleship size. So as you can see right here in front of me, I have an Imperial, uh, I believe this is the SD2. Uh, yes. Now I want to do the SD2 because I am a big fan of the octuple barbette turbo lasers. If you don't know what those are, they're just a basically they're a giant flak or a giant row of cannons, kind of like this, like that, all pointing forward, and they all shoot at the same time. It's just like eight cannons, they all shoot at the same time. Awesome firepower, love it. So and it's known for having four on each side of uh, the superstructure that's in the middle. And it gets rid of that stupid little command bridge on the top. There are other major differences, but uh, those are the probably the most prominent. So after this video, I'm actually going to just kind of quickly replicate and remake this Super Star Destroyer. Oh my god, I keep saying that. This Star Destroyer. And then we're going to incorporate our design. Which I will show you what I'm thinking of doing to change this design. So, I hope you enjoy this.
And this is my uh, redesigned Star Destroyer. Uh, yeah. So, as you can see, I didn't change much of the original design uh, in terms of the body. Um, I kind of, obviously, like I've said previously, I flattened out the tall superstructure in the middle where the cam command bridge kind of extended up uh, to the top, like way, way up here. So I brought that all the way down. Um, some features may look bigger than normal uh, because when I put this into Space Engineers, uh, obviously the cab isn't going to be as large as the real Star Destroyer. That's why these window panes are uh, pr pretty big in comparison to everything else. I also put uh, the cannons, the octu octuple barbette turbo lasers, are now placed along the center column of the Star Destroyer, both on the top and the bottom. And I think what I might do is I may add some just right beside the command bridge because it does make sense to like heavily arm the command bridge, but um, it seriously lacked the amount of firepower on the bottom and obviously in Star Wars they do this for a very cinematic uh, appearance to have a Star Destroyer face its enemy head on it's all scary all the guns on the top like a battleship um, and have all ships face this way but I want to make it so that if someone came underneath the Star Destroyer it's still a pretty devastating force you know obviously this Star Destroyer is going to be best suited for battle head to head as all the guns will be facing forwards or broadside attack as the guns could swivel and face each side. I also took the bottom hanger and I actually just put it on the side kind of like the Venator class Star Destroyer uh, from the Clone Wars with their hangar bay on the side uh, and I did this so that I could place all of these turrets and cannons comfortably all along the bottom. We've got the shield generator bulb right here. Oh, wait, no, no, that's not the shield generator. That's the life support system. Uh, the shield generators, I actually, you know, they are going to stick out. And I think I'm honestly just going to change them to some sort of communications. I don't understand the purpose of having these big bulbs on the Star Destroyer. I always thought they looked kind of strange on the top. Um, very iconic, but, you know, maybe we'll... Uh, we'll keep them and we'll keep them on the outside because maybe these shale generators just produce so much heat they can't actually stay inside the ship um and in that case uh if we have to keep the shield generators on the outside we'll just make these bulbs right here tucked in and probably put underneath uh another octuple barbette turbo laser and like the super star destroyer fuck i keep saying that and like the star destroyer we're going to Keep it so that it is ship to ship combat only. Um, I don't know how long this is actually going to be and how long it's going to turn out, but I may be able to add more than just three guns on the top and three on the bottom. I, because it is a battleship class, I believe I have 30 gun mounts is what I allow myself to place on the ship. So obviously these are the giant ship to ship cannons and we will have maybe smaller guns like AI controls, but what I'm planning for the octuple barbette turbo lasers is to actually uh, create and build my own turbo lasers for the ship. Also, now that I'm thinking of it, I think I'm gonna rethink the design and I'm not gonna build a Star Destroyer and then change it. I think I'm gonna just build this from scratch. Everyone knows the iconic Star Destroyer. Uh, I really don't need to rebuild it in Space Engineers. This will save me a lot of time and keep me focused on building and creating my Star Destroyer. So yes, and I hope you enjoyed. But that's all I have for this video. Thank you all so much for tuning in and I really do hope you enjoyed this episode. And stay tuned for the part two that will be coming out soon and I will actually start to build this behemoth of a ship. Now this is going to be a part of my redesign series so this may be more than three parts depending how big this build is because this is a this is gonna be a large ship and i've got to think of a really cool cinematic which i intend to do thank you all so much for tuning in and i really hope you enjoyed this episode of redesigning a starship first part of many and i can't wait to see you in the next one as always stay fit stay chunky and strong chonkers your lord <laughs>